In this lesson, we shall simplify radical expressions involving fractions. We need to get all the fractions out from under the radicals. We also need to get all the radicals out of the denominator. Let us consider example 1. Observe that we have fractions under the radicals. How do we simplify the expressions? First, we apply this property and rewrite this into this. Then, we use another property in order to rewrite this expression into this. The product of the two radicals in simplest form is simply square root of 3 all over 5. As we try to get rid of the radical from the denominator, it happened automatically because 25 is a perfect square. Note, however, that getting a radical out of the denominator does not always work out conveniently. Let us take a look at example 2. Again, we use this property in order to rewrite this in this expression. And eventually, we cancel 5 in the numerator and denominator and we end up with square root of 3 over 7. We also use this property in order to rewrite this in this expression. Then, we rationalize the denominator. We multiply square root of 3 all over square root of 7 by square root of 7 all over square root of 7, which is essentially just 1. We rewrite this expression now into this. And in simplest form, we have the product square root of 21 all over 7. Note that we are allowed to have a radical as a numerator. However, we are not allowed to have a radical as a denominator. Suppose in example 3, we have 2 all over square root of 5. Note that 5 is not a perfect square. So, square root of 5 is an irrational number. We do a process called rationalizing the denominator. To make our denominator a rational number, we need to multiply 2 over square root of 5 by square root of 5 all over square root of 5. Why is this allowed? When we do 2 all over square root of 5 times square root of 5 all over square root of 5, we have just multiplied 2 all over square root of 5 by 1 because anything over itself is equal to 1. Note that the result will still be mathematically equivalent to 2 all over square root of 5, but multiplying it by square root of 5 all over square root of 5 will change the way the answer is written. How? Look at the following solution. Now, 2 square root of 5 all over 5 is considered properly simplified because there are no radicals underneath the fraction. Let us look at example 4. We need to apply this property in order to write the given in this manner. Then we rationalize the denominator by multiplying square root of 2 over square root of 2. We apply this property so that we could write this expression in this manner. Now, we no longer have any fractions under the radical. Moreover, we don't have any radicals in the denominator. Can we simplify square root of 14? The answer is no. 
We cannot cancel 14 and 2 to get 7 because 14 is under the radical and 2 is not. Can we use the same approach when variables are involved? Let us take a look at example 5. To simplify, we rationalize the denominator and we end up with this expression. This will get rid of the radical in the denominator. We apply this property so that we can write this expression in this manner. Even though 5 square root of x all over x does not look any simpler than 5 all over square root of x, it is considered simplified. We have accomplished the goal of getting rid of the radical in the denominator. In example 6, we have this expression. Note that we could write the denominator as a squared times a. Moreover, we can write the expression as 6a all over a square root of a. The a in the numerator and denominator gets cancelled out. So the original expression can be written as 6 all over square root of a. We rationalize the denominator by multiplying square root of a all over square root of a. We apply this property in order to write this expression in this manner. We end up with 6 square root of a all over a. The solution is quite similar to example 5. Finally, we have example 7. Once again, in this example, we have a fraction under the radical. We need to apply this property in order to rewrite the original expression. Then we rationalize the denominator by multiplying square root of 5y all over square root of 5y. The solution is as follows. Note that we do not reduce the fraction by cancelling the 10 and 5 to get 2. While the 10 in the numerator is under the radical, the 5 is not. Similarly, we cannot cancel out the y's because 1 isn't really a y, it's square root of y. So, is square root of 10xy all over 5y the simplified answer? The answer is yes. There are no fractions under the radical and no radicals in the denominator.